Hey guys, this is Will from Going Awesome Places and I'm back for the next video in the series that's all about Peak Design's 10th Kickstarter, Mobile by Peak Design. But first, if you haven't watched the unboxing and first look of all the pre-production samples that I received, make sure you do that up here. And after that, you'll be ready to watch this video, which is all about this guy. This is the everyday case specifically for the iPhone 11 Pro, but this will really apply for all other models that are supported by the Kickstarter launch. So why don't we begin? So yes, it's just the phone case, but it's what's in the case that makes the magic happen. So let's get into the basic specs. So the biggest thing is the slim link system. And the claim is that it is the most low profile, intuitive and secure phone mounting system in the market. The back of the case has something called zirconia ceramic and that's the square thing at the back here. We'll get into that a little bit later. I also called it zirconium. In my previous video, it's zirconia ceramic. It's then surrounded by an array of magnets on the four corners. Now, it's really the combination of the materials used here that allows this case to have that rigid holding power without sacrificing on thickness. And thickness is really only 2.3 to 2.4 millimeters, quite thin. Material of the case is a polycarbonate that's quite durable and wrapped with a distinctive nylon fabric that will look familiar because it comes from the same mill that creates all the fabrics for Peak Design bags. This fabric is also blue sign certified, which means that the mill itself has been audited for its sustainability practices. And lastly, the magnets are on the outside because that's what allows the wireless charging to work on this case. Traditionally, you always had to use a metal plate on the back side of any case that you had on to be able to use any sort of magnetic mounting system, but that would block the wireless charging from working. So you couldn't have it both ways. With this, you finally can. With the specs out of the way, we can finally do some real talk and just talk about the product and what it's like in real life. Now, if you look at the case itself, it's really just made out of a hardened rubber. And it's a material that we've seen before in other cases, so nothing really special there. What you need to know is that the case wraps around the phone fully, so there is no opening at the bottom. It does have openings for the mute toggle, the lightning port, uh, openings for the speaker slash microphone, and obviously the camera at the back. And the case itself is just really easy to use. You can pop your phone right in. It's super simple and it works. No learning curve at all. Now let's look at the inside of the case. Running around the TPU sidewall, they call it, uh, are really just these parallel indents or ridges that go all the way through. And this is what gives the case impact protection, which is important. Now let's take a closer look at the fabric. The same fabric shows up on the back side as on the inside. And if you look closely, it's laser cut to precision, laminated right on, it looks quite smooth. One thing you will notice is that you do kind of see the indentation for where the lamination starts and ends. And that's why you can tell that the four magnets are actually on the corners here. If you put in the right light, you can see exactly where they are. They're not actually that big. So it's quite remarkable that they were able to fit this in. And if you look at the middle here, the, there's a single piece of fabric that covers it from the backside. At first I was a little bit concerned, you know, would this have issues in terms of um, wear and tear and whatnot, but because it uses a very similar material to the Peak Design backpacks, I'm a little bit more confident. Um, Peak Design has said that this material is resistant to uh, water, uh, staining and abrasion. So I think we're all good there. Now, if we flip the case over, you'll see the zirconia ceramic that we talked about. This is the primary interface between the case and all the other accessories to, to mount it on. But you know, what exactly is zirconia ceramic? I had no idea, I had to look it up. So it turns out that this material is a composite material and highly spe specialized. Uh, it's primarily found in the medical devices space and in dentures of all things. But then I thought about it, it's like, I think that makes sense actually, because they needed a material that had resistance to cracking, fractures, and repeated impact. And that's exactly what zirconia ceramic is. It also has above average values for bending strength and hardness. So that's really important because this is something that's gonna take repeated abuse 
Uh, it's the primary interface, so it's going to be hitting things. Uh, it's going to going to wiggle possibly a little bit, um, and it's. Yeah, it's, it's going to take a lot of impact, which it needs to be able to handle. And so uh, I would imagine this is the right, uh, right material for the job. And finally, if we look at the fabric on the back side, uh, exact same thing. It's precision cut, laminated really nice and smooth. Um, you might see a little bit of indent, indentation. I think they're going to fix that in the post-production uh, version. But otherwise, looks really good. Now let's take things a step further. There are a bunch of practical things that I want to share with you guys to hopefully be able to help make your decision of whether you want to back this Kickstarter or not. The first thing that I learned about this case is really around thickness. Okay, so I actually have a bunch of iPhone 11 Pro cases. This is Peak Design, this is one from Base US. This is the Apple silicone case, the official one. And I thought, okay, for sure this is gonna be a lot thicker, but Yes, it's thicker than this, this skin, essentially this plastic skin that goes over top, no protection. Uh, this Apple one is, I believe, 2.2 millimeters. But you remember that this guy is actually only 2.3 to 2.4 millimeters. So basically the same, like if you're talking about thickness, the Apple silicone case and the Peak Design one, almost the same. Now, let's talk about ports. That was another big question I have. Will there be issues with this fully closed case? And in the past, I had some issues with those closed type cases. So I brought a bunch of cables here. I have uh, the official Apple one here in the middle. This one is an anchor, one for one of the power banks I own. And this one's a heavier duty Powerline 2 one that's USB-C to um, lightning. So I'm just gonna show you right now how, how it looks. So, both of these ones, the original and the smaller anchor one for the power bank, they work no problem. I could tell these are really skinny uh, with a lot of room to spare. Now, if we look at this one, I was worried like, is this actually going to work? It's actually quite thick, but they thought of that. Um, there are no real issues here at all. Uh, it's almost exactly right. There's maybe some additional space on the sides, but so far, no issues with any of the cables that I own, and that's a good thing. Next thing I wanna talk about is weight. And so surely for a product that has magnets, zirconia, ceramic, that it's gonna be a lot heavier, and that's, that's actually not the case. Uh, it is heavier, yes, but not by much. So I weighed these things out, and the Apple silicone case comes in at 22.6 grams, and the Peak Design comes in at 32.6 grams. So only roughly about 10 grams heavier. With the phone on, I feel like you don't really notice that much of a difference. It's slightly heavier, but not by much. Next up is really about comparing these cases. So I'm, I'm gonna stack these together. And if we look at them from the top, how are they different? So again, really thin base US. This is Peak Design in black and the silicone case in green by Apple. Uh, if we focus on these two, the Peak Design one actually has a larger butte toggle opening, and I think that's actually a good thing as opposed to the smaller one by Apple. It's got the two buttons for volume, roughly the same except I think Peak Design's is a little bit thinner, but in terms of operations, I never had issues with it. Um, you'll notice that the Apple one is much more curved to go with the case uh, because, because the Apple 11, uh, Apple iPhone 11 Pro has that contour. Uh, for stylized reasons, I think Peak Design has gone with something that has kind of straight edges, but does still wrap around fully, like the Apple one does. At the top, not a whole lot of difference. On this side, you'll notice that the only difference primarily is that the Peak Design has their own logo on the right side, kind of cool to have. Uh, the button is also a little bit thinner. And finally, on the bottom, Big difference here, opening for the Apple one uh, as opposed to uh, no, uh, the closed design of the Peak Design one. One thing I'll make a note here is that this is actually the Apple one, my second one. It was a replacement from my original. The problem with this one, which is a known issue, is that because these corners take a lot of abuse in your pocket and whatnot, uh, over time, the rubber actually separates from the plastic and that's exactly what happened to me on both sides. So it got pretty bad that I had to replace it. Uh, but with a closed design like this, not really an issue. 
From a looks perspective, I think this is pretty unique and cool, but it might just be me. I know to each his own, there's only one colorway right now, which is this. And it's something that I haven't really seen very often in cases that use a fabric backing. This is actually the first one I've ever seen. So I think it's quite distinctive and it's got a lot of character. Now, one thing I'm sure you're immediately thinking of after you know knowing that this is very similar to the fabric used on Peak Design's backpacks, I brought in my very own everyday backpack 20 liter in the charcoal gray. Now, if you put one on top of the other, you start seeing that it's different, actually. The charcoal gray has a lot more black and white threaded through it versus I'd say this one is that gray with more of a silver through it. It's, it's got a little bit more of a sheen to it as opposed to this. Now to touch, it's different as well. This fabric has more of a fabric feel to it. Uh, you can feel the fibers versus here, less so. It's a lot smoother of a finish um, and you don't really feel those fibers catching in your finger. The other thing is in the threading. Uh, the charcoal gray, you see a lot more perpendicular threading uh, going this way and going this way, as opposed to the everyday case, everything runs in one direction. So just an interesting observation in case you're wondering, but they are a little bit different. Now from an everyday perspective, I haven't had any issues with the case when paired with my phone. It just, it just works. Um, I've, I've taken it out and about, used it at home, um, it's, it's a solid case, um, easy to take in and out of your pockets. It's grippy, it's got, you know, the, the buttons work really well. It's got the openings at the bottom, not obstructive uh, in terms of using it with cables and things like that. So it's good. Now, if we get back to grip, grip actually does matter. I've used a lot of cases where the material is just not easy to hold or if your palms are sweaty, it, it, it slides in and out of your hands a little bit too easily. Uh, but with this material that is, has that more rubberized feel, it's, it has a lot of grip when you need it, but at the same time, when you, when you feel the, the material itself, it's, it's pretty smooth. It's got kind of this matte, uh, smooth sheen to it. Uh, and that translates to how you feel uh, the case in your hands. Now, one thing I was really curious about was just how this case would perform with the Peak Design Travel Tripod mobile mount. So this is the mobile mount that comes in at the center column. And what I found actually with the iPhone silicone case, I found this especially in the summer, I don't know if you guys have experienced this as well, is that if you put it in, um, in vertical shooting mode, so like this, and it's holding it like that, and you're trying to take a photo, that because of the weight, the, the smoothness of the material was causing it to actually slide down over time. So I always had to make sure I take, you know, I took photos really, really quickly. Um, wasn't the best kind of feature as part of it. But then I realized, okay, it's actually, I think the case is problem. So with the Peak Design Everyday case, and I tested this, with the mobile mount. And if you're taking photos like this, it actually holds really well. There is no slippage. And I think that has a lot to do with the materials that's used for it. So not really an issue at all. So I gotta remind you that everything that you've seen so far is a pre-production sample. So they're not the final versions, they're still making improvements and they're aware of some of the problems. Now this is the first time that they've actually given us a list ahead of time of all the known issues. So for the everyday case, I figured I might as well share with you in case you're wondering, you know, based on what you saw, you know, there's, there's something wrong with it. Now the first thing is the magnet witness marks. And uh, what this is, is basically what I showed you earlier. I can actually see through the lamination process where the magnets are located on the, the inside and a little bit on the outside, you can kind of see where they're located. It's not perfect. Uh, so I think in the final process that they're gonna perfect the lamination so it's seamless and you won't be able to see any of the indentation. Now the next issue is called weave angle misalignment. Remember what I said earlier is that the threading for this fabric goes all in one direction. So if you look carefully, and I didn't know this is at first, is that the weave doesn't go perfectly straight. It's at a bit of an angle, maybe two to three degrees. It's something that they're aware of um, and they're gonna fix to make sure that everything is aligned properly. The next one is called loose liner fabric and it has to do with the lamination process and the fabric. So especially on the edges, I have a pretty good one, but if you look at right above the camera port, 
that I can see maybe a couple threads of fabric come through. So it's not perfectly laminated onto the case shell itself. Uh, again, I, I think this is a uh, something that they're working on to be able to perfect that process so that doesn't happen. But it is a bit concerning, right? Because if there are loose threads here, would those tug and get loose over time? Will it separate from the case? And so that has a lot to do with just overall quality. The last thing is something that you don't even see at all with this sample. There's supposed to be something called tether ports. So on one of these corners, there's supposed to be a hole where you can attach a Peak Design anchor link. And we all know and love anchor links. We use them for all Peak Design products. Uh, but what the idea is, is that you will be able to thread this anchor link to your case so that you can attach it to something, whether it's attaching it to your backpack or use it with an accessory like this, which is a leash. So maybe you'd be able to have the anchor link connected through the tether port and have your phone dangle off your wrist. So what else is in the works? We know at launch that for the Kickstarter that they'll only have cases for the iPhone 11 series, the iPhone 12 series, and the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. Nothing else, I think they're gonna add more cases as the months go on, but for now that's it. There's only gonna be the one colorway, the one fabric, so don't expect any colors yet, but I'm sure they'll be coming down the road. The other thing is around wireless charging. And so we know that the Kickstarter will have the wireless charging components, which I don't have in this pre-production sample, but it will work. But if you're using third-party wireless chargers that you might not get the same performance as you would with a Peak Design wireless charger. So let's talk about the elephant in the room as it relates to iPhone 12 and MagSafe. I think we're all surprised when we heard the news. Great, but what does it mean for this ecosystem of products, mobile by Peak Design? So, I got to find out a little bit more information and here's what I know. So if you're getting an iPhone 12 with a MagSafe case, it will be compatible with mobile by Peak Design, except for a couple things. It will not work on the motorcycle mount. It will not work for any of the bike mounts. And that's because it doesn't have a secure mechanism to lock it in place. Otherwise, it will just fly off. So it will work for all the other accessories, except for those. On the other end, if you get a everyday case, by Peak Design and try to use it with the MagSafe charger, that will work. What they cannot guarantee right now is the 15 watt charging until we can test it in person. But for now, there's no guarantees about 15 watt. It may be a little bit less, which means that it'll just charge a little bit slower. So what this means overall, I think is that yes, if you're getting an iPhone 12, there's gonna be some compatibility issues with this but really you should still be getting the everyday case because it's really the slim link technology that will allow this to, you know, really seamlessly connect with your active lifestyle from home to work, to being on the road, to, to being active on a bike or motorcycle. It's that connection that allows this to be securely, um, you know, mounted onto some of the accessories. And the other part is that if you're not getting an iPhone 12, you know, this is the perfect, case for you, right? Because you don't have any MagSafe options. So you can essentially turn your phone into something that has MagSafe, and that's pretty sweet. Well, that is everything that I thought of to cover for the everyday case in the mobile by Peak Design ecosystem. Did I miss something? Are there additional questions? Drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to read them all and cover them in a future video. Well, with the case covered, it's time to move on to the accessories and the mounts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.